The Berenstain Bears Get Involved, written by Jan and Mike Berenstain. Subscribe for more Berenstain Bear books. Always try to do what is good for each other and for everyone else. 1 Thessalonians 5.15 Brother and Sister Bear belong to the Cub Club at the Chapel in the Woods. Preacher Brown was their leader. They did lots of fun things together. They went on picnics, played baseball and basketball, sang in the chorus, put on plays, painted pictures of Bible stories, and put up decorations in the chapel at Christmas time. But the Cub Club was about much more than just doing fun things. The real purpose of the club was to help others. There was always something that needed to be done around bear country. Sometimes it was cleaning up the bear town playground. Sometimes it was bringing food to bears who couldn't get out and about. Sometimes it was even fixing up old houses for folks who couldn't fix them up themselves. Brother and sister liked to be helpful. It made them feel good deep down inside. Preacher Brown explained that it was always a good thing to help those in need. As the Bible says, he told them, whoever is kind to the needy honors God. So the Cub Club went right on helping others all over bear country. Little did they know that very soon their help would be truly needed, indeed. One morning at breakfast, Papa was reading the weather forecast. Says here it will rain for the next two days, he said. Rain, rain, and more rain. Oh dear, said Mama, I was planning to do laundry and air it out on the line. It will have to wait. Brother and sister didn't pay much attention. A little rain didn't seem to be anything to get very excited about. On the way to school, brother and sister noticed the sky growing very dark. By the time they reached school, it was starting to drizzle. Through the morning, it rained harder and harder. It rained so hard that recess was canceled and they had a study period instead. Fooey on rain, muttered brother. Rain, rain, go away, recited sister. Come again some other day. But the rain paid no attention. It came pouring down harder than ever. I think you made it worse, said brother. When school let out, the cubs splashed their way home through the puddles. But then they heard a car coming down the road. It was Mama. She was coming to pick them up. Thanks, Mama, said the cubs. We were getting soaked. Back at home, Papa had a fire going in the fireplace, and Mama spread their wet clothes out to dry. Brother and sister played with honey in front of a cozy fire. This rain is getting serious, said Papa. There could be flooding along the river. Oh dear, said Mama. That's where Uncle Ned, Aunt Min, and Cousin Fred live. I do hope they don't get flooded out. Brother and sister pricked up their ears. What would it mean if Cousin Fred's family got flooded out? At bedtime, brother and sister could hear the wind howling and the rain beating against the windows. It was a little spooky, but they snuggled down under the covers and soon drifted off to sleep. They dreamed about rushing streams and roaring waterfalls. It was still raining when they woke up the next morning. Wow, said brother, pressing against the window pane. Look at it coming down. As brother and sister went downstairs, they heard Papa on the phone. Don't worry, he said. I'll be right over. Over where? asked Mama. That was Preacher Brown, said Papa, getting his coat and hat. The river is rising fast and we'll need to get everyone out of their houses down there. We're meeting at the chapel. We'll all come with you, said Mama. There will be plenty for everyone to do. Brother and sister were excited. They had never been part of a rescue mission before. At the chapel in the woods, bears were gathering from all over. Their cars were loaded with shovels and buckets, bundles of blankets, and boxes of food. 
Grizzly Gus had a load of sandbags in his truck. Preacher Brown saw brother, sister, and some of the other cubs. I want all you cub club members to go along with your dads and help out, he told them. This is what the cub club is all about. Yes, sir, they said. They were glad to be going, and brother and sister especially wanted to make sure cousin Fred was all right. The cars drove through the storm down to the river. We're just in time, said Papa. The water is nearly up to the houses. An angry river was swirling over its banks and lapping toward the houses. Look, there's Cousin Fred, said Sister. Cousin Fred, with Uncle Ned and Aunt Min, was leaning out of an upstairs window and waving. The bears all set to work, piling up sandbags and digging ditches to keep the water away from the houses. Brother, sister, cousin Fred, and the rest of the cub club joined in. They dug and dug and dug until they were cold, wet, and tired. Then everyone drove back to the chapel to warm up, dry off, and get something to eat. Preacher Brown's wife, along with Mama and the other moms, had soup and sandwiches ready for all those cold, wet bears. They wrapped them in dry blankets and settled them down in the chapel's pews. Ms. McGriz sat at the organ to give them a little music. I'm so glad you're all right, said Mama to Uncle Ned and Aunt Min and Cousin Fred, giving them big hugs and kisses. Preacher Brown got up in the pulpit, opened the Bible, and started to read. The floodgates of the heavens were opened, and rain fell on the earth. The waters flooded the earth. Sister noticed a bright light coming through the chapel windows. Look, she said, the rain is stopping and the sun is coming out. The rain had stopped falling from the skies, read Preacher Brown. And there's a rainbow, said Brother. I have set my rainbow in the clouds, Preacher Brown read, and closed the Bible. With God's help, we are all safe and sound, said Preacher Brown. Thanks to everyone for pitching in and helping out. I particularly want to thank our youngest helpers, the members of the Cub Club. All the bears clapped for brother, sister, cousin Fred, and the Cub Club. They had been there to help others when their help was truly needed. The end. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Don't forget to check out our channel where we have a whole playlist of Bernstein Bear books and then a separate one of just all of our books. And we have toys and Legos and flags, travel. We just are crafting it up. So just sit, hit that subscribe button. Check out our channel every day. You never know what video we're going to put out next.